Hey guys, it's the Low Cost Mommy here, and today we're going to be making some bath fizzies. So for those times when you really want to relax and just take a nice warm bath, gives it that little something extra, and um, you can also make these and give them as gifts. They're a really, really low cost gift to make for people, um, so I'm going to get started. First, I'm going to need my ingredients. So I have uh, organic virgin coconut oil. This one is from Trader Joe's. I think I paid about $5 for it. Um, but we use it all the time as uh, lotion in my hair. Uh, we cook with it a lot, so coconut oil is just something we have around the house. Um, you're also going to need some Epsom salt. I got mine at Walmart. I think it was like 88 cents or something. Um, and then baking soda, like we have around the house. Everybody's got it. Citric acid. This is one I had asked for where it was. It was actually with the canning things. Um, it's a replacement for lemon juice and it's a powdered form. So it is kind of a specialty item. Um, and then cornstarch, I got mine from the grocery store. It's just what we had in the cupboard to use for like gravy and stuff like that. Um, today I'm also going to be using my lavender oil. There it is right there. I got mine from Amazon. I think it's about $3, but I use them for many different things. Um, so I just I have a lot of oils that we use. And then next is going to be um, some very strong brewed tea. I have maybe, I don't know if you can see in there, I have maybe 10 or so teaspoons of chamomile tea today. Um, so first I am going to measure out the ingredients and we're just going to speed this process up for you guys. Okay, so I've got all of my dry ingredients mixed up in the bowl there. You just want everything to be really well incorporated. And for this next part, I actually need to heat up my coconut oil, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I actually just ended up kind of cutting it into my mixture, the coconut oil. I left it cold. Um, it's not really a big deal. You can either microwave it for 30 seconds before you put it in here so that it's a little bit more liquidy. Coconut oil really doesn't take much um, <laughs> heat to get it to a melting point. So either way, um, I kind of just use the warmth from my hands. Now we're going to put in the tea. So I need five, five to six teaspoons of the tea. And we just want this strongly steeped. And it's going to bubble. But that's why you add it slowly. There's four, five, and six. And don't worry, it's still safe for, for you to stick your hands in it if you want to. I just don't want mine getting that much more dirty. But you just want to incorporate the tea as best you can. Everything will start to clump up. A little bit but that's what we want. We want to be able to form balls. And I'm going to add a couple more teaspoons. One and then two. It's not an exact science. I mean you don't want mostly powder. You want most of it to be this lumpy um, kind of substance that's hard to describe kind of like brownie batter okay before you put in all the oil so now I'm gonna add in my lavender and you need about oh I don't know four or five drops of the lavender and then this is my food coloring I'm really only doing this because I want to be able to show you a color I'm gonna do two drops of red don't get this anywhere near your clothes or on anything and this should make 
a nice pinky peach color, which I like pink, so that's why we went with pink. So now that it's to that consistency, it becomes really easy to kind of pat down and form into a clump. So that is what we're going to do. But don't overwork it. Try not to push on it too hard. You don't want it to like crack and break. And I'm just using a nice cube tray. It's just a good uniform size. And I know I'll be able to fill up the whole thing. And there you have it guys, my bath fizzies are finished. I'm going to set these out on a corner um, in the hallway and they're going to dry completely. And then in about four or five hours, I'm going to be able to pop these right out and um, put them in a bag so that I can use them whenever I take a bath. So that's going to do it for us tonight, guys. Uh, make sure that you hit the like button if you enjoy the home spas that we've been doing. I really enjoy these bath fizzies either for myself just to relax or to make and give to other people as gifts. They're a really low cost way to get that done. Um, and make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Later on this week, we're going to be doing a crock pot meal. Um, so I'm really excited to get that together for you guys. And we will see you next week.